the U.S. Supreme Court appears poised to overturn the landmark Roe v. Wade ruling that legalized abortion nationwide. A draft majority opinion obtained by Politico states there is no constitutional right to abortion services. This would likely split the country into states with and without abortion access. Washington correspondent Jesse Tenor joins us live from the high court with what happens next. It's really quite a radical decision. President Joe Biden blasted a leaked draft Supreme Court opinion written by Justice Samuel Alito. If issued, it would throw out the landmark Roe v. Wade ruling. Setting off protests both for and against abortion rights in front of the high court Tuesday. I hope there are not enough votes for it. But the court's 6 3 conservative majority almost guarantees there will be enough votes to overturn Roe, which set off a push by Democrats like Senators Maria Cantwell and Debbie Stabenow to pass legislation protecting abortion rights. The majority of American people support this policy as settled law. It all comes down to who should make decisions about your health your life and your future. Past efforts in Congress to codify Roe have failed, and Republicans, including South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham, still oppose it. Repealing Roe v. Wade, in my opinion, uh, is the right uh, constitutional answer. While many GOP lawmakers share Graham's view, Senate Republican Leader Mitch McConnell also criticized the leak as an unprecedented breach of the high court's secret deliberation process. Almost certainly in an effort to stir up an inappropriate pressure campaign to sway an outcome. And Kansas Senator Roger Marshall blames the president's party. This shouldn't surprise us a bit. This is what Democrats do when they lose the ball game. Earlier today, local lawmakers are reacting to the draft opinion as well. Isabel Garcia spoke with Congressman Joe Morelli, who had strong words. Congressman Joe Morelli did not mince words when it came to reacting to the leaked information of the draft opinion from SCOTUS indicating the high court will overturn Roe versus Wade. There are efforts he is also a part of which would codify the case into federal law. Today America woke up to find the United States Supreme Court poised to deliver the most damaging decision in over five decades. Our worst fears have been confirmed. This court does indeed plan to overturn Roe versus Wade. Congressman Joe Morelli says he is still processing the news about the anticipated decision SCOTUS plans to overturn Roe versus Wade. In one fell swoop, the Supreme Court is ready to roll back centuries of hard fought progress, creating a dystopia where women no longer have the autonomy over their own bodies. Currently, there is a bill in the Senate called the Women's Health Protection Act, which would codify Roe versus Wade across the country. It's passed the House. I'm a co-sponsor. Uh, the hope will now be, uh, if this opinion is, is rendered by the Supreme Court, that the U.S. Senate will go to work trying to pass it and send it uh, to the White House. A vote on this legislation is not an abstract exercise. This is as urgent and real as it gets. We will vote to protect a woman's right to choose, and every American is going to see which side every senator stands. It is important to note New York State did codify Roe versus Wade into its law back in 2019, meaning women will always have the right to an abortion. For now, reporting in Rochester, Isabel Garcia, News 8. Thank you, Isabel. We will have more reaction to this news from the state level coming up on News 8 at 530. Now, on the other side, locally, there's support for overturning Roe v. Wade. Michelle Sterlace from Feminist Choosing Life of New York had this to say about the potential decision coming from the U.S. Supreme Court. We are the government. We the people are the government. And it's incumbent upon the government to protect from death the most vulnerable and dependent among us, which are unborn children. And more local reaction now. Michelle Casey with Planned Parenthood says this decision would be a major step backwards for the rights of millions. I'm really horrified, to be honest with you. Like, I expected a bad outcome, but this is the worst outcome that there could have been. Um, and it's a, like an unprecedented retraction of rights that will have untold damage to millions of American women and others who can bear children. More on this issue over at rochesterfirst.com.